How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about of course here the Dream or Daydream View. This is Google's VR headset. So we're going to open it up and take a look at the device. I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't played with it yet. I'm kind of curious how Google has, what's their take has been on VR. You can see back here I've got the Samsung uh, VR headset Oculus Rift um, which is it's a pretty good experience, but I'm really excited to see what Google's take on it is. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. I did cut the flaps earlier, but the presentation is pretty good here. Check this out. Voila. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful presentation. Honestly, love it, actually. Um, so let's take a look here. We do have a little tab here that opens up. Look at this. Even more presentation here. Check that out. Hi there. Get started by opening the Daydream app on your phone. Download it on Google Play. So that seems pretty sweet. A little bit of information on the back. And then I don't know if you see this or noticed it, but see this slot? Yes, it's obviously cut out for the remote. So let me go ahead and pop this out if I can. All right, and actually, you know what? It kind of looks like USB type C it says. So I'm wondering if this thing comes with chargers or not. Let's see what we got here. So it is USB type C for the charging port on this. Obviously you gotta charge this, this remote up to get it to function correctly. I don't think it has actual batteries. I think it's, it's all built into the remote. So around the remote, you can see you've got this button on the side up and down. You obviously have this little pad here, which I think will work kind of like a D-pad. And also it clicks. So for selecting, then you have this button here and then this button here. Um, otherwise, yeah, not too much. There's a couple holes back here. I'm not sure what those are for yet. I haven't had to do much research on this yet. And then uh, some kind of looks like maybe uh, some kind of indicator light or something right there on the bottom. So pretty sweet. That's really comfy. But the cool thing is, is that it's really built in to be able to do that for storage, right? I mean, that just makes too much sense to me. Um, that's really nice, the way that that is designed here for Daydream View. So let's see, we can take it off the little piece of cardboard here. There is some more stuff under here, it looks like. A couple things, actually. So here we've got some kind of a wrist strap, I'm thinking. I'm guessing that goes into the holes in the back of the remote. And then I'm guessing that the rest of this is all just packaging. So let's set it aside. Let's uh, take a gander here. Oh, that's cool. Throw that out. So there is your daydream view safety and regulations wow is that tiny so yeah that can go over there probably never read it and we have a little wrap around here and voila so as you can see there is no actual you know over the head strap you know samsung just to give you guys a little bit of a comparison you can see these so there's has this strap that goes over the top of your head to keep the goggles from falling down um so I'm curious to see how this is actually going to feel. These ones are pretty comfortable. I mean, they've got, you know, like the felt padding and stuff, but they've got all the straps. They're pretty comfortable. I'm really excited, though. I think this is this feels a little bit, eh, it's close to the same in weight. Um, honestly, a little bit better, I think, but we're going to see. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty pumped about it. Those glasses, man, those sure look really blue. Those are crazy. I'm going to try these suckers on. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to check this out. So I'm going to just really quickly look through the packages and show you if you guys got anything else. But I'm going to hook up my phone and, and give these things a go. And we'll see what what what, uh, what you can do. I'm going to give you some of my thoughts. So I went ahead and uh, installed the Daydream uh, application. And the first thing it did is it went ahead and I, I held down the little center button here. And it's pairing to my Bluetooth on my phone and syncing to my account. Um, also, it looks like it's doing a software update to the controller. So eh, whatever, I guess that's good. So we're going to let that finish up here and check check this thing out. It also gives you a lot of warning and information about uh, using it, like taking a break, making sure you're over 13, making sure you're not around anything so you don't swing your arm and flail and hit somebody you know, with your remote hand while you're moving around doing something. So uh, something I actually recommend if you're using VR that I think is really good is to like sit in like an office chair with, that can swivel because that way you can actually move around by swiveling the whole chair and it gives it a more immersive feel um, and you can instead of like turning your head and looking behind you or something if you're sitting in one place 
So sitting in an office chair where you can swivel and, and pivot is really nice. Make sure you got some good clearance around you, um, and that makes it really, really cool to, you know. And then you basically, if you you get lost, you won't know what direction you're facing in reality anymore. You'll be so linked into uh, the VR experience and the virtual reality. So it's it's pretty cool. All right, we'll go ahead and hit continue, and pretty simple. Look at that a little graphic and showing you how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So things I can point out here is that there are these these pretty decent bumpers right here. Um, there's also a line on the screen. So you want to go ahead and put the uh, line in line with those black bumpers to give you a good split on your screen. And then just come up here and uh, click click that bad boy in like that. So I do have a case on here. Um, and hopefully, uh, this is interesting, it, it does actually protrude. You see that? So I'm curious how that's going to actually look on the screen, if that's going to be an issue or not. Um, this is the uh, XL. I wonder if I'm going to take my case off. But uh, we're going to find out. We're going to find out and see how this looks. Now, I'm kind of curious. Let's see. I wonder if there's got some kind of a sensor because I don't see anything on the screen currently. I'm going to go ahead and put these things on and try it out. So I just went through the initial process and doing the setup, which is really, really cool. And if you want to look like a weirdo like me all the time, you know, you got to wear this thing in public. That's how you get the full effect. Um, but my, my remote died, so I got to charge it. But... I'll just talk about it because it was actually pretty cool. And one of the things you're going to notice um, with wearing this thing is that it leaves a really awesome mark on your forehead. So, I mean, maybe it needs a little more padding or something. I had to pull it really tight to get like a good focus um, with the lenses. So, you know, a little lacking there. I think um, the Samsung's variant, you know, with this like focus ring up here on the top, it's a little nicer when it comes to that. Um, figuring out your focus, but um, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, I wish there was a better way to do focusing because you kind of have to just kind of squeeze your head in farther or closer to try to get a good focus. So that that was a little rough. Obviously, like I said, it leaves marks on your head. But I've got to say this: this 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 is what I was impressed about. This little remote makes this experience so much better. Um, it's really, 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 really cool. So like the first thing you do when you do your setup, when you, you learn, you basically, they, they walk you through the remote, how the remote functions, so you got a feel for that. So the first thing you do with this, with this remote, which is really cool, is you're in these woods. And the woods are, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cartoony wood look, right? But um, still really neat. And it, go, it goes dark and you have this thing and this becomes your flashlight. And I think the thing that really was unique to me about that um, was you you would think in, in this kind of reality I mean it makes sense but I just never seen it that you know wherever you're looking the flashlight's gonna point right no you can point the flashlight you know way over here and look this direction and the lights not like it, it it really tricks your brain when you have a remote that you can use like the tool you're using um, they show you a bunch of other things during the setup which is really really cool there's these just different exhibits that you can interact with um, in what they call the museum. Um, and this remote's really cool because you can actually like, you can play like fetch with like a dog, which is really cool. So it has a little stick. You take this, you put, click on the stick, it picks it up, you swing it. Like you're throwing the stick, the stick goes flying in the direction that you threw it. Um, dog goes and fetches it, brings it back. You know, it is pretty cool. I gotta, I gotta admit, the, uh, the, the remote is what makes, to me, this headset so unique. The headset itself is nothing super special about it, um, but the remote, the remote really makes it so much more in depth to have a remote than to not. That, so I guess when I talk about VR and my experience in VR, um, I love this. This is a hundred times better than this and you know swiping back and forth on here and doing really silly little goofy moves on the side of your headset up here, which, which right, just the fact that you're touching this headset always reminds you that you're wearing a headset. Um, whereas touching a remote is a thousand times better. So um, really am enjoying this. So I gotta go ahead and charge this thing up and uh, get it charging right now actually. Go ahead and charge that sucker up and play with it some more. I'm sure my kids actually wanna check this thing out too. I'll let them play with it for a little bit, not long. Just because there is some safety concerns and they might swing and hit somebody or walk down the stairs, I don't know. So, um, but I'm sure they're gonna wanna check it out, so it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I gotta say, I actually really enjoyed it. 
I was a little surprised. I was not thinking it was going to be that good. I haven't been a big fan of VR yet, um, but Google's implementation is is pretty solid. Pretty solid. So if you got some extra bucks and you want to you want to pitch in or go out and spend the 90 bucks, 80 bucks on one of these suckers, um, and you have a Pixel or some phone that will fit in here correctly and work with uh, Daydream, uh, definitely yeah, check it out. You know, maybe maybe you're actually one of the lucky ones who, when they pre-ordered, got one for free. So I'm sure you're already enjoying yours. I think most of those have shipped out to everybody. Um, you know, I actually was not able to pre-order the situation I had, but I, I picked one up anyway just because I wanted to play with it. Um, so I'm kind of glad I did. I'm kind of glad I did. But there you go, guys. That's going to be kind of an unboxing and kind of first initial impressions of the Daydream View. Um, I think, you know, VR is something that is going to keep being pushed because it is kind of like the next wave of technology. So it's still kind of on the forefront, but I see it having some pretty cool uh, features for sure coming in the near future. That's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you guys liked the video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.